it's my birthday. Sixty years young this very day. I never thought of ever reaching this milestone. Do you remember being sat at my school desk in class when I was about thirteen? And the teacher, Mr. Speed, otherwise known as Speedy Gonzales, was always talking about the year 2000. And I remember thinking, I'd be 40 in 2000. Could not imagine it. Couldn't imagine being that old. 40 was old back then. Virtually decrepit. And here I am at 60. Where's my medal? Saving graces, I get to retire early. Forty odd years of work based pension contributions, and I'm taking full advantage. So I'm not just celebrating my birthday today, but also my early retirement. Had a bit of a work stew to mark the occasion. The thought of retirement used to scare me. Not anymore. I welcome it. I embrace it with open arms. Hallelujah! been a public servant, man and boy, for over 40 years. Huh. Hardly birth thinking about. What well, thing is, it was never a comfortable fit. One of my old bosses always said I was like a square peg in a round hole. To give him his due, he wasn't wrong. Only thing I ever really excelled in as a boy was art. Oh, and technical drawing. That I could do, and I had a flair for it. I wanted to go to art school, but my dad was adamant I'd get a profession. Tech drawing was the compromise, and the rest, as they say, is history. I don't blame my dad, by the way. He was a miner all his life. First in the old country, then brought the family over and worked at Gedling till it shut. He wanted better for me, and I got it, thanks to his guidance. A nice, comfortable life. Don't want for much. I'm well set up. But still, can't help thinking of what might have been. Good and bad. The wife's concerned about me retiring. I think she's worried about having me under her feet 24-7. Can't blame her. I wouldn't want me under my feet 24-7. It's not that she isn't fond of me, by the way. Just that she's not used to having me around a lot. The prospect must be scary. I've always worked long hours. She's had her own space. I get that. Familiarity breeds contempt. Keep myself out of her way. Plenty to occupy me. Now that I've finally got time, I plan to upgrade the garden shed out the back into my own personal man cave. Where I can do man things and entertain myself out of harm's way. I'm sure she'll appreciate the gesture. My wife's in bed. Better not wake her or she'll have no guts for garters. She told me to enjoy tonight and not overdo it. I haven't. Might be a bit tipsy, but I behave myself. I've always behaved myself. It's one of my better qualities. Though I don't think Natalie, my PA, was a bit too keen on our goodbye kiss. I'm not sure if slipping in the tongue was wholly appropriate. Hers, not mine. I'm sure she'll be mortified when she sobers up. The wife and I will celebrate the momentous occasion together with family tomorrow. Or rather, later today. Where does all the time go? I wonder what happened to old Speedy. Well, I say old, but looking back, he, he must have only been in his mid-twenties. Looked ancient to my teenage eyes, though. I had dreams of being a great artist back then. Like I said, it was the one subject I excelled at, art. I was never an A student, and I never got picked for the football squad, but I could always draw. 
that was my claim to fame. When we did art projects, my classmates used to get me to sketch the outlines, and they'd just colour them in. It gave me status amongst my peers, if not my art teacher, old Fanny Fanshaw. I wasn't bothered about his opinion, though. Silly old armhole. Couldn't teach art for toffee. I wonder what happened to him as well. Disappeared up his own proverbial, probably. I had kudos with my peer. I reveled in that. It made me feel special. Unique, even. Not just another cog in a wheel that fell for the past forty odd years. Forty odd years since I put down my paint pots and brushes. It was time to pick them up again. And why not? I'm a man of independent means now. I've certainly got time on my hands as of today. <sighs> I haven't told the wife yet, but I've booked an art vacation in Tuscany. Thought I'd surprise you at the do tomorrow. Tuscan farmhouse with restored barn, extensive studio facilities and a swimming pool. An ideal retreat to rediscover my creativity. All materials are provided. Plenty to do for a non-painting partner too. Walking, wine tasting, Italian cooking lessons, horse riding, cycling or photography classes. Or she can just relax and enjoy the scenery or, or lay in the sun by the pool. She'll enjoy that. She deserves some rest and relaxation. I'm particularly looking forward to the life drawing classes. People were always my favourite subjects to draw. Portraits were what I was famed for. I wanted to be a portrait artist. Every face telling a story. Bodies were another thing. Nudes would have embarrassed me back in the day. Not now. Older and bolder. Who knows? Might even persuade the missus to pose. Might paint her in the nude. Might leave my socks on. Might finally create a masterpiece. I have it in me. Always did. I've waited long enough. No time like the present. It's my time to shine. Better late than never. <laughs>